in the year was 1414. Elton thinks that y'all hate me for always doing that voice. Yes? I ended up getting my best friend's grandpa sent into senior care living early. I'm hearing my friend's mom and she doesn't know I'm right on the side of her. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I see Josh coming out of the room, wiping his shoe. Why right? do all of our stories involve the bathroom? <laughs> As I was trying to open it, it was like there was pressure going against it, against me. You were too scared to go up there. Oh, yeah. Your one-year-old still slept up there. She's got to steal. Are you afraid that something more would happen if you allowed it to? Yeah. Welcome to Haunted Homies, a podcast dedicated to building the paranormal community and hearing terrifying stories from those within it. Please make sure to subscribe as we are planting one tree for every new subscriber. Our goal is to plant 500,000 trees by the end of 2023. Oh, yeah! Yeah! And if anyone want a front row seat, there's one open right here and it bugs me when that happens. Anyone want to go sit the crowd surf your way to that seat right now. Who wants it? Fight for it! Fight! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Why don't we have a gavel? Yeah, why don't we have That's a gavel? That's fine. I actually can't even see that seat if it's, it's, if it's empty. Actually, can you just sprawl out for me? Would you mind? Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> just, just up there. Just like, yes, entertain oh. me, boy. <laughs> well, What's welcome. Up? And thank you for being here. This is so cool. We're in the UK. I know. We're here, baby. We're here. Hello. <laughs> see? <sighs> they love it. Okay. Okay, wait. I got to talk about this real quick. Elton thinks that y'all hate me for always doing that voice. Yes? Wait, wait, was that a yes or a no? <laughs> was that a yes or a no? Wait on, we need to establish, because there's a lot of crowd interaction that's gonna happen in the show tonight. So we need to establish a way to communicate things. Okay. So what's a, what's a really old timey <laughs> British like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> What would it be like? Nay? No. Nay? Nay. Okay, and then what's a, what's a good, is it a hip hip hooray? Aye? Aye. All right, so that for the future of the show, the louder, right? So it'll be, what is it? What are we going with? Nay and I? All right, yeah. nay and I. Yeah. Okay, so if you like, if you like Corey's British accent, give us an I. <laughs> now, if you don't like it, give us a nay. Nay. Oh, what the f I told you. I told you. Well, you know they, what? What? If they like it so much, and you like it so much, why don't you give us a history right now about where we are? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not I mean, planned. This was not planned. I am so excited right now. Uh, I, I guess I could... The year was 1414! They walked Wait, 1914? No, 1414. Oh. Yeah, the year was 1414. Okay, 1414, the year 14. And the building was built on Earth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, so here's the difference between them and I. <laughs> what? That's not enough for me. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah. Uh... Tell me about some of the people that were uh, sentenced here. Some of the crimes um... and the people that had to stand in this room and plead for their life. You think I know this? I think I... you do. George Washington <laughs> was brought to this courtroom for steering... Fifteen Big Macs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I feel like there's nothing you could do here now that wouldn't get applause. <laughs> like, Dang it. Dude, no, I'm so happy that you guys like that accent. Like, no, seriously, I, like, that's my everyday voice, like, in the States. Like, my homies are like, why do you talk like that? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> 
I live with him. He's not lying. It's very, <laughs> it's very annoying. Every day I see him in the house, I just go, hello. <laughs> thank you. Uh, sincerely, thank you all for being here. Like, this is it's truly incredible to, to be it here. Is. And, and for the record, it's sold out. They wouldn't let us have any more people in here. We're like, what's the most amount? They're like, this is it. So... <laughs> You know, mosh around. I don't know. Get loose. <laughs> mosh? <laughs> yeah. No, don't do that. Get reckless. Yeah. Okay, so tonight's show, one, we have Dan and Josh that are going to be joining us later. So we're really excited to have them. Yeah. We've been filming with them for the last couple nights. Uh, Dan sent me the funniest text I have ever gotten in my entire life. What? And I didn't see it until we got home from filming. Wait, so what? like six in the morning. <laughs> know about this i really don't at six in the morning i check my phone and i'm like going through like my messages and my emails and i open whatsapp that's how i talk to him and and i have a message from him and at 2 43 a.m all it says is please come back that's <laughs> oh that's all he sent me oh, okay we locked him in a room by himself and this big man covered in tattoos just text me <laughs> please sir please come back <laughs> I need you. <laughs> Yo, I actually got a funny text from Josh last night. This was after investigating, though. Josh texted me at 5 a.m., and he goes, Bro, they just got a really close picture of what ants look like. And he sent me a picture of an ant. That's it? <laughs> yes, that was it. Oh, but before that, true story, before he sent that text, he said, bro, I accidentally just pissed on my foot. <laughs> Swear to God. And I said, how did you accidentally piss on your foot? And then he goes, bro, they have close-up pictures of ants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, it's man. true. It's true. Oh, that's funny. I know. Okay, so we found out earlier that someone here named their cat after me. Uh, <laughs> just want to say, I did not do not approve of that decision. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to be here, dude. I'm really uh, digging digging the accent though. Like we learned we learned some stuff earlier. Like we learned that we've been saying Nottingham wrong. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, you've been saying it wrong. <laughs> Do you, do you want to say it? Do you, do you know the right way to say it now? Nottingham. Nottingham. Yeah. Wow. It, it sounds like something they say in prison. No, I want you to n*** him. Oh my. <laughs> and cut that from the show. <laughs> not I, I also found out that you're apparently a road worker. That was the other thing I found out. Yeah, we just found out apparently road worker is like a bad word or something, right? We were, we were having everyone teach us curse words earlier, just so y'all know. Road we learned when. <laughs> Wait, is that a bad, bad word? Oh, I didn't know that was a bad, bad. I heard some people in the audience go, oh. <laughs> oh, he did not just say that. How bad of a bad word is it? Oh, not. Oh, so you're basically saying everyone that thinks it's a bad word is just being a f Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if people just had signs in the crowd like, wait? <laughs> That's what someone needs to name their dog. <laughs> Come here, you little <laughs> You want a treat? <laughs> okay, yeah, we should yeah, stop. We're going to calm down. We're going yeah, to calm gonna, down right stop. now. Okay, so uh, we have a game we're going to play. Uh, it's one of a game. It's a game we've made up, and it involves audience members. It involves individuals and the entire crowd. Mm -hmm. And we figured that we haven't played this game in a while, but since we're in a courtroom, it's the perfect game to play. It is, and it's a game we like to call "Go to Hell." And basically, how this game works: you all have written down uh, people, crimes, and places, and Corey and I <laughs> will each pick a person a place that they were arrested, and then the crime that they committed. But the catch is, there's only room in hell for one of us. And we have to argue to all of you which one should not go to hell. Yeah. And then later, if you want to start thinking about this now, we're going to ask if anyone here has a confession they want to make of something they've never told anyone before, of something terrible that they've done. Mm -hmm. So as a little teaser, here's what mine will be. Just the log line. I ended up getting... My best friend's grandpa sent into senior care living early for something I did, but blamed him. 
So keep that in mind and draw, you know, just kind of go back in the deep, dark part of your memory <laughs> and see what suppressed <laughs> items you have back there. Oh. And if you want to share something later, uh, Josh has something he's going to share and Dan has something he's going to share too. I pooped on the carpet when I was three singing the alphabet and it's... <laughs> I just, I just wanted to get it out. Okay, my confession's that's, done. That's why you got it on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here, we're going into the game. All right, so, prosecutor, judge, whatever you want to call yourself, what are you looking for when you're trying to determine who should go to hell? Who's done the worst crime? Oh, that's it, just the worst crime. Yeah. Huh? How do you determine a bad crime? It depends what they are. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh, God, I'm, I'm going to lose. Or actually, I might win. Here we go. All right, do you want to go first, or should I go first? Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first, okay? Uh, let me see who I was again. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, You're off to a good start. Yeah, great start. A very, start. very good start. Yeah. Uh, I was arrested in the seven circles of hell. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. I, don't, I don't know how I got there, but um, still alive. <laughs> I got there. But um, my crime, it's not that bad. You know, all that I did was I opened a portal to hell in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's, oh, that's how I got there. I went to Chuck E. Cheese, hold on, hold on. and then I went to the Seven Circles. You, you can't say that you're Jeffrey Dahmer, and that's all that you did. <laughs> <laughs> that is not all that you did. Also, fitting that you're at Chuck E. Cheese, you f weirdo. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. All right, but before, before any line of questioning, may I, may I state who I am? All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Boris Johnson. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was arrested at Macy's. Okay. I'm assuming that's like Macy's a store. It's spelled with two C's. Is that different here? Maki's. What is Maki's? <laughs> Macy's? Well, look how it spells. <laughs> Mac uh, McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> all right, I'm Mackie. Boris Johnson. I was arrested at McDonald's. That's all I can afford to eat now. Um, and the, the crime I committed was I stole a Lamborghini with Satan. Uh, that's pretty bad. You killed and ate people. <laughs> they, well, uh, <laughs> you opened a portal in Chuck E. Cheese in the ball pit. <laughs> And kids were just, thump, 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 gone. How'd you know it was in the ball pit? I read the report. <laughs> well, you're not helping. Any questions? I mean, I think it's a pretty easy one on that one. <laughs> oh, you already got you your answer? You, you, don't, you don't get to decide. They get to decide. You get to ask the questions. Um, whereabouts in Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> it was the ball pit. <laughs> All I did was I played a Ouija board in the ball pit. I didn't know I was going to open a portal. You know, who knew that Ouija boards opened portals? You. Do you know that? Uh, I do. I do know that. Okay, yeah. Was it your intention to open the portal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your crime again? I can't remember what it was. See? That's, oh, how, that's how meaningless it was. You don't even remember. <laughs> Stole a car. You've all, all these questions for him, and you don't even remember what I did. Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> Stole a Lamborghini. <laughs> yes, I stole a Lambo with Satan. Was wow. it your idea or Satan's? It was Satan's idea, and I went along for the ride. Did I stole he... it with him. You think I could make Satan do anything? Did he force you? Did he what? Force you to steal it. Honestly, no. <laughs> Look, it's been a rough year for me. Uh, <laughs> CPMs went down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he hit me up and he's like, hey, you want to do this? You want to have some fun? I was like, yeah. You know, it's a Lambo. Who doesn't want a Lamborghini? Was it a nice one? Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice You color. think Satan's going to drive around <laughs> in anything less than a perfect Lamborghini? That's, that's true. Only the best. Yeah, but that's pretty bad, dude. Like, 
You stole a car? You stole someone's <laughs> liver and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to defend myself. All I did was go on a joyride, went and got a Big Mac at, at Mackey's. At Macy's. <laughs> Macy's. Macy's clearance yeah. sale. You got some jeans. <laughs> you imagine, like, in America, we have the Macy's Day Parade, but it's a McDonald's Day Parade. <laughs> everyone in the parade is just overweight and just, <laughs> they are the floats. Just everyone with 10 Big Macs. Just <laughs> That's funny. Any other questions? Did anybody fall into the portal? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Did you push any? Yeah. <laughs> it was an accident, though, because I sneezed, and that's how I pushed them yeah. into the portal. Yeah. Once you pushed them in the portal, what was your plan? Because you were obviously arrested in the Seven Rings of Hell, where the portal was connected to. I was throwing a party. <laughs> With children? <laughs> A, a parents go to Chuck E. Cheese. It wasn't. It wasn't kids that were falling in the portal. It was parents. I'm not helping myself at all. <laughs> <laughs> any any further questions at all? No, I think that's that's everything. If you think Jeffrey Dahmer deserves to go to hell for all the terrible things he did and creating a portal in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit and just dropping kids down in a Satan's lap, <laughs> and that's why he had to go find Boris and be like, I need to out of here there's too many kids in hell now let's go steal a lambo so if you think jeffrey dahmer deserves to go to hell boo <laughs> the boo is so funny <laughs> now if you think uh in the circumstance boris johnson deserves to go to hell boo i think you were louder boo was that me yeah you were louder boo okay <laughs> but we didn't get your name uh, becky Becky. Well, thank you, Prosecutor Becky. You did a great job. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right, next round. All right. One point, Elton. What's your name? Uh, Xavier. Xavier? Yep. All right. Both of us have done something probably really atrocious. What are you looking for in your line of questioning? I reckon crime's okay if you've got a good reason. I can, can let that slide. A good reason? Yeah. So that's it? Nothing else? Just a good uh, reason? Yeah. Do you need a motion in your nah. reasoning? No. Nah, just... Yeah. You put that back? Or you took yeah. two? You put it back? Yeah. Then I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me Wait, see. Wait, this one's literally blank. It's your imagination. Oh my God, this couldn't be the actual pairing I just got. Is it that good? No, it's... Ugh, yo, you're going to have to go first. Am I going to win this round? Uh, no. I actually don't think you will. Because no. this person has already literally done this and come back and won it life. Should I just cut right to the right to it? Cut right to the chain. I'm Logan Paul. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, was arrested in Witch's Forest. <laughs> Pretty close. And all I did was I stole Annabelle and dropped her off at a daycare. <laughs> Look, in retrospect to the other things I've done, not that bad. You know? Not that bad. Who are you? Well. I'm Elton John. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, I was arrested in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, my crime, it's not that bad. All that I did was I turned all Tickle Me Elmos into Torture Me Elmos. <laughs> and if they aren't satisfied with your torture, they tickle you until you die. Thank you. <laughs> You know, it's like a fun toy. We both have dolls. <laughs> I stole Annabelle and you made uh, Torture Me Elmo's. Yes, correct. Yes. Any questions for you? Um, or from you, I'm sorry. Why did you steal Annabelle? What's the plan with that? Mm. Would you not want to steal Annabelle? Not particularly. No. No. <laughs> no. Here's the thing. Everyone thought she was a little girl. Been locked in a box for her entire life. 40 years now. Never had a friend. Mm. So I took her. Daycare. <laughs> it's quite nice. Even actually. demons deserve friends, <laughs> right? Yeah, it is rather nice. Yeah. Hmm. And you, sir? I turned all Elmos into torture me Elmos. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what happens when these Elmos don't get tortured enough? They, you know, hold you down and tickle you <laughs> and 
until you suffocate and die. That's a lot less nice. Why'd, why'd you do that? Well, that was that God? How was it? <laughs> God was like, you've un- <laughs> congratulations, you've said the password. <laughs> Torture me, Elmo. We all. How was that so loud? That was into our mic, was it not? Yeah. What was that? Is that your phone? Not mine. Oh, that was you, <laughs> Morty. Huh? <laughs> Y'all are just texting during the show, where you're like, "Yo, this sucks." <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your reason, Elton John, for doing it? Yeah, I was bored. Elmo wants to know why. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was good. Why'd you make me do it, Corey? <laughs> Elton. You're supposed to say Elton. I'm Elton John. Oh. Elton. What is Elmo? El- Elmo? Elmo? Is it up there? It's somewhere up there, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Elmo. There we go. <laughs> Wait, I was about to ask that. What would torture me Elmo sound like? Um. I want you to put clamps on my Is that, is that the torture the elbow likes? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. You never said why you did it. I, you have all the money in the world. I did it because I love spreading laughter. <laughs> and what's the best way to make someone laugh than by tickling them? <laughs> See, he did it. He just made me laugh. See? And that's why I did it, you know? A lot of people are sad. A lot of people always, you know, they're walking outside. They just, they look upset. You know, they're always frowning. And I thought to myself, hmm, how could I make these people smile? Torture me, Elmo. <laughs> and then I pitched the idea on Shark Tank. And then I got the deal. And then they sold it to Toys R Us. And that's why they went out of business. <laughs> Any questions? What else? What else do you got um, for us? What was the witch's forest about after the daycare? You know me. I like my forests. Um, controversial or not, I, I, I want to go to all of them. I heard about witch's forest. I went there, and while I was there, the witches were like, you got to go get Annabelle and drop her off at daycare so she can eat all of the children. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but what do I title and thumbnail it? And then I did it. You said earlier you dropped her off at daycare because mm-hmm. you thought she was lonely. Yeah. And then you just admitted that you did it to kill the children. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to the vote. You want to go to the vote already? Yeah, Any I further do. questions or are you ready uh, to go to the, no, to the peers? Ready for a vote. Ready for a vote. Boo, if you think that Elton John deserves to go to hell for this. <laughs> I literally sounded like a sad cow. Just, (laughs) moo. (laughs) Moo. Okay. The laziest ghost we have ever heard. (laughs) A boo. (laughs) See, Torture Me Elmo would have made that a little bit more cheerful. Okay? And then now, boo, if you think that Logan Paul deserves. Wait, can we do this again? But let's just say uh, Logan Paul did not steal Annabelle and drop her off at daycare or go to Witch's Forest. Who just thinks Logan Paul should go to hell? (laughs) I didn't have a shot at that at all. (laughs) Oh, my God. Man, that dude has the greatest come-up comeback story in history Mm -hmm. and uh, still getting hate. Yeah. Well, thank you, Xavier. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Everyone, give it up. And what is your name? Isabi. Nice to meet you. All right. You've heard some of the crimes that have already been presented here today. Yes. What are you looking for in your line of questioning? I want to look for the motive, the background, and why you're doing it. Okay. Mm. A proper investigation. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Barbie. Nice, you know, Barbie. Nothing wrong with Barbie. I was arrested at the Queen Mary. You know, I was ghost hunting. You know, Barbie and Ken, they went on a little vacation. They went ghost hunting on the Queen Mary. And uh, 
The reason why I was arrested was because I decided to join forces with Lucifer after finding out that Lucifer is actually just a lady named Lucy with an anger problem who wants to burn everyone who has ever cheated on their spouse. (laughs) Girl power. Who are you? Britney Spears. <laughs> it's Britney. <laughs> are you actually? Oh, you actually are. I'm Britney Spears. Okay. I'm Britney Spears. I was arrested in Australia. Australia. Nar. And <laughs> and apparently I used demonic powers to make it where every third word you try to use, you get stuck in that weird brain fog where you can't think of the word and keep trying to figure it out for at least three minutes. (laughs) (laughs) That's a crime? (laughs) So every... (laughs) What's... It's a a number after two. Three. No, but it's like, um... If you were, like, labeling it... Third. Yeah, that that one. Third. Okay, cool. Third, yeah. Word, I want... But if if I need something, what is that? Like I, like I, uh, like I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank want. you. Thank you. Perfect, want. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dumbest <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you got arrested, because that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> they probably got annoyed with you. They're like, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Because, uh, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> any questions? So you were on the queen... Queen Mary. Queen Mary. Wait, based on where we are, how do we know it's the ship? Mm. And you weren't on the Queen Mary. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, (laughs) Barbie does what she wants. (laughs) And you decided to join forces with Lucifer. Lucy. Unfortunate name. Lucy. Lucy. Yes. Okay. And you was with Ken at the time. Correct, yes. Okay. And um, why did you want to actually help her? Um, well, when me and Ken were on the Queen Mary, mm-hmm. I, I saw him look at another woman. Ooh. Oh, so Ken was on the Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And um, that's why I joined forces with Lucy, because Ken is a pig. Yeah. And did you find out her reason then as well? What was her story? (laughs) (laughs) Keep going, keep going. uh... So what what did she yeah, what did she say to convince you to join forces? What? She (laughs) told me (laughs) that she as well saw Ken looking at a second woman. Everyone boo. Yeah, everyone say all men are pigs. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> that would have been funnier if you were like, everyone say all men are. <laughs> it's the. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. What is that? <laughs> a pig. Yeah, yeah. A pig. A pig. Okay, so, Brittany. Yeah. You, you can just call me Miss <laughs> if you want. <laughs> You were arrested in Australia? Yeah. Why were you in Australia? You know, I just wanted to get down under. Okay. <laughs> so you specifically went to Australia to cast a curse? Oh, no, I went on vacation. You went on vacation? Yeah, I did the spell, and I was okay. like, let me get out. Because the spell only worked in Europe. Oh. Uh, and I was like, I want to... I, I imagine how difficult it would be for me yeah. to perform. Yeah. Like, it's Brittany... What's the... <laughs> it's a female dog in it. Yeah, that one. You know, it would be impossible for me to do any of my songs, so... Yeah. So why do you curse it on everyone in Australia? What was the reasoning behind it? I just, I just feel like, you know, in this modern day and age, everyone's just talking and not really listening. Yeah. You know, they're not getting that eye contact. Okay. And what better way to bond with someone than if you need their help? Yeah. If mm. you're like, ah, oh, what's that? And then together you go on this journey, like, what is that word? You know, okay. like, what is that? And then, and then you bond and you're like, oh, that was teamwork. Mm. Wow, if we can figure that out together, we can well, do anything together. When you think about it, what about if someone goes to the doctor and went, I really need a... I really need 
and they just can't get what they need from the doctors. Mm. Yeah. So you didn't think about that. When think about that, Brittany. <laughs> so you said that you okay, think hold about on. one thing, but you didn't think about the other when you did this. Uh, that was really good. <laughs> um, Come on, say something, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes it more of a challenge. Makes it more of a challenge. But here's the thing. So the doctors should automatically here's the know. Thing. Here's the thing, though. You see all this? See this? Mm -hmm. Pen and paper. Pen and paper. Can't speak my third word. Oh. Okay. Can write it out. Go back to the old-fashioned way of communicating. Okay. Less, less dwiddling. You know, okay. less, less, less thumb tapping. More of a, uh, uh, you know. And then yeah. also, everyone can bond about how stupid they are. And you know, that, that seems like a great way to level the playing field. With no matter who you are, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, it doesn't matter. None of us can think of that third word we're trying to speak. The world becomes. Equal. Sounds very you. Sounds very what? Sounds very you. Oh, Miss, me. Miss Britney Spears. Mm, yes. <laughs> Miss <laughs> does like it that way. <laughs> Any further questions? I think that was all. That's all? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, I already know who's going to hell. Uh, <laughs> I really want to ask if anyone here's ever cheated. Because then we would know if you're going to have to burn. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be a confession for later. Okay. Yeah. If you think that. Who are you again? I'm Barbie. If you think that Barbie, who was arrested on the Queen Mary ship or person, we don't know, uh, should go to hell for joining forces with Lucifer, who's just a lady named Lucy, who decides to have an anger problem and wants to burn everyone who's ever cheated, uh, if Barbie should go to hell, please boo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What'd you guys say? Uh, and then, for this sake of round, if the uh, lazy ghost in the back wouldn't mind, that's all the winning vote we're going to need. Would you please... <laughs> Uh, for Britney Spears, could you give me a... <laughs> that wasn't a lazy ghost. <laughs> I just want to hear the boo. <laughs> yeah, can, can we get that? Can we get that boo again? <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That's it. Boo. <sighs> no shot on that one. No shot. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I'll enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your name? At Kirsty. What is it? Kirsty. Oh, Kirsty. All right, Kirsty. What do we need to give you? At the end of the day, we don't. It doesn't even matter what we need to give you because it's up to them, huh? <laughs> I like the truth. You like the truth. Yes. Okay. Okay. You would have liked when Dahmer was up here earlier. He couldn't <laughs> stop confessing to everything. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Am I going first or you? Yeah, you go first. You just want the truth, huh? Yes. That's it. Regardless of the crime, as long as we're honest about it. Yeah, nothing but the truth. You would be a terrible judge. <laughs> um, Did you really kill them? Yeah. Okay, you're good to go. <laughs> Are you going first or is it me? You go, you go. You want me to go? I'll go. Oh boy. Okay. Um, all right. It's, it's spooky season. It's October and I am... Michael Myers. I was arrested at KFC. <laughs> getting a good old bucket. And uh, my crime is without them knowing, without anyone knowing, whatever people dress up as on Halloween, they actually become until sunrise. That's what they become. That's it. You dress up as a zombie. You're eating people's brains. You're an astronaut. You're trying to go to space. Nurse, go have fun. Whatever it is, whatever it is, that's what you become until sunrise. Okay. That's messed up, dude. Is it? You just cast a spell on the whole earth like that? It's without them knowing, though. Still messed up. Be pretty fun, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Think about those Halloween parties. I'd go as a bumblebee. <laughs> Imagine that. You just... would get one sting and die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you bump into one person at a party. Excuse me. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. Trying to scoot through. Excuse me. <laughs> well, hi. Uh, hi. I'm Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. <laughs> I was arrested at Execution Rocks. Okay. Head of that place. Yeah. Fun, fun place. My crime was 
It's not. It's really not that bad. I convinced an entire high school that if they ate their poop, they would have magic powers. <laughs> and that's all types of poop. Yeah. Just all Correct. Types. Yeah. Wait, would that have mattered? <laughs> <laughs> what? In all types of poop? Diarrhea, hard, <laughs> soft, yeah, green, blue. <laughs> what what kind of magic since we're being honest here? They could fly. They if if they ate their poop, they could fly. Hmm. And you, they did it. You want honesty, right? Yes. Then let me ask you this, MGK. What's up? Did you ever actually think you could beat Eminem in a rap battle? <laughs> no. <laughs> we, I think we need an example of the rap battle. Of a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this photograph. <laughs> Is that Nickelback song? <laughs> Look at this <laughs> Just trying to think of how the song went. Oh, wait, wait. Do another one. Do another, do, do another beat. I got another song. I'll sing another song, okay? <laughs> the best thing about being a woman is that da 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 Oh, oh, oh. David. That was Shania Twain. <laughs> Thank you. That was Shania. I used to listen to that song with my mom. <laughs> Any other questions? So with the curse of whoever dresses up as Halloween, mm -hmm. how do they know that they've done it? So how do they know who they become? Oh, well, just, you, you, don't. you don't. You dress up, and the second you leave your door to they celebrate, just... to start the celebrations, or have that first drink, boom, instant. And then you have nothing until sunrise, and at sunrise you just wake up with all of the corpses of the people that you just murdered and had <laughs> just, no just, idea. Just a purge. <laughs> just, yeah, absolutely just a purge. And then also think about how many people are going to dress up, dress up as Michael Myers this Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing is, they don't know either. So it's not like anyone can like maliciously plan ahead, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, and dress up as like Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. like, you don't know. All, all the people are just dressed up as like a priest or a Teletubby. <laughs> and they're, they're, just, they're just like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they're just spraying holy water everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So you like honesty, right? Yeah. Do you want to know why I did it? You want to know why I told that entire high school to eat their poop? <laughs> Go ahead. Because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> and was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How many were. kids was at the high school? Uh, 634. Wow, okay. Yeah. The bunch small of, school. Bunch of idiots <laughs> eating their poop. <laughs> I'll be honest, if, if MGK showed up at my high school, I'd be like, yeah, I'll eat my <laughs> for you. Was I Megan Fox there, though? No. That makes all the difference. Oh, okay. No, no, she wasn't. Okay. No. Any other questions? Not that I can think of. Hmm. I don't want to lose another round. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Two to one? Yeah, it's two to one right now. Okay. It's two to one. Okay. You're making... I'm making kids eat poop. <laughs> yeah. Seems a little weird, doesn't it? No. Why high school? Why those kids? Because I thought that everyone that was in college wouldn't do it. That's why. Hmm. hmm. What was your pitch? Like, if this is your high school class, pitch them. Okay, so this is pretty much what I did, so. Act like this is a door right here, okay? Okay. There's a door right here. Got it, it's a door. Here I go. MGK walking into the school. Here I go. Quick! Everyone eat your shit right now! You're gonna have superpowers! <laughs> and that was it. Uh, and they started doing it. <laughs> Yeah. MGK is the next Kanye, is what you're doing. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Everyone's just like, yes, okay. Yes. Just losing their mind. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll go, we'll go to the jurors then. Okay. The large amount of jurors. All right, boo. If you think MGK should go to hell for making a bunch of high school kids eat because he thought it was funny. <laughs> All right. Now, boo, if you think Michael Myers should go to hell for just, you know, making everyone turn into whatever they dressed up on as Halloween. That's it. I win. 
All right, you got that point. <laughs> two to two. Two to two. All right, well, thank you so I much. Thank you. Appreciate it. What are you looking for in your line of questioning? Um, who had the most fun? Who had the most fun? Okay. All right, you ready? You going first or me? This is the final round here. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Well, hello. Hello. My name is... <laughs> hello. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was arrested at the strip club. Yeah! And I was actually, I was there with my wife as well. Sharon! Okay. Um, and my crime, <laughs> I was arrested because I created a spell that makes everyone levitate when they use the restroom, and the longer they use it, the higher they levitate, and when you're done, you drop. <laughs> It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It really isn't. At what speed are you levitating? Like, is it one foot per second? No, or? no, no. It's like, uh, I would say like three, three to four inches every, you know, 10 seconds. Three to four inches every 10 seconds. And so, what, the, uh, a- the average poop, especially if you're scrolling on TikTok, you're in there for like eight minutes. So a foot and a half a minute. Yeah. So after eight minutes, you're going to be 12 feet in the air. <laughs> you're going to be higher than an NBA player can dunk. <laughs> yes. And you're going to drop from 12 feet with your pants around your ankles <laughs> and just right down to the porcelain. Also, wait, does the toilet levitate with you <laughs> or do you just keep? No, no, you, you just levitate. This, the toilet stays. Dude, people are going to die after eating Taco Bell. <laughs> people are going to be like 80 feet in the air like, I wish it would stop. <laughs> no, wait, could you imagine all the dads? <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, dads take 45 minutes to poop. <laughs> They're going to be like 200 feet in the air. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I did. All right, Ozzy. Well, I am Charles Charlie Manson, Okay. And I was arrested at Madison Square Garden. That's it. And uh, all I did was I used witchcraft to make One Direction break up and absolutely, positively made sure they would never get back together. <laughs> That's all I did. I just, I, I, you know what I mean? I'm the one who broke up One Direction and I made sure they would never get back together. Any questions? Okay, Corey, with yours, do you levitate straight through the ceiling? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's a great point. Yes. You're like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so some people, depending how long they would use the restroom for, to answer your question, yes, there would be dookie on the ceiling. Do they get blocked at the ceiling or do they? Yeah, they get blocked. Oh, they just... <laughs> But it's just more and more pressure. (laughs) They just get squished. Yeah. I think it'd be funnier if they broke through the ceiling (laughs) and there's just people levitating above their houses (laughs) because the toilet didn't come up with them. So you can just see everything. (laughs) That is true. Yeah. Okay. No, you actually go through the ceiling. I changed my mind. (laughs) Um, Did you purposely break up One Direction? Absolutely. Reason? Too much power. Too much. No one was going to any other concerts. It was just One Direction. Everyone was going One Direction, all to the same concert. I wanted multiple directions. Hmm. I wanted people to understand that there's other genres out there. There's more people than just Harry Styles. Like, there's so much more out in the world. And look, now they all have solo careers. The good ones do. <laughs> um, so how much fun did you both have creating these curses? Oh, my God. I had a lot of fun. You know, it really, it made my year. And actually, um, there's a loophole. There's, a, there's actually a loophole in mine because it's only when you use the restroom that you levitate. Think about that. I just want to know what your uh, creative thinking process was to get to that. <laughs> like, what out of all the other spells you could have done, mm-hmm. you chose levitation upon urination. Correct, yes. Yes. Yeah. I just thought, you know, everyone likes to release stress. And where is the best place 
to release stress. The bathroom, right? Right? The bathroom. I don't know what I'm going with this. I would have gone with massage table, but... <laughs> <laughs> or massage table, yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. So you just gave everyone an opportunity to just be seen by the world every time they use the... Re- Dude, could you imagine what a sporting event arena would look like at halftime? <laughs> <laughs> just 10,000 people just, <laughs> just up in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any other... But I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, last question for Corey. Why do it in a strip club? Damn. You said, why was I in the strip club? Why did the cast in the strip club? Because I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I did it in the strip club because I wanted to get out of there. I said, I've had enough of this place. And I thought, you know, I've only been in here for eight minutes. If I just walk out the door, everyone's going to think that I'm a loser. I don't want to party. So what's the quickest way to get out of here? I'm going to levitate while I poop. (laughs) You still have to drop right back down. Um, (laughs) When it closed, see, when the strip club closed, that's when I stopped going to the restroom. And then I came back down, and then I left. So no one saw me leave. You know what I'm saying? Can we just go to something else right now? <laughs> that, that, this Was that is the hard. final question? All right, so the choices now are made it where every time you use the restroom, you levitate and then fall to the ground when you're done. Mm-hmm. Or in my circumstance, I made One Direction break up and absolutely positively made sure they would never get back together again. So uh, if you want Ozzy Osbourne to go to hell, can you please boo? I think I lose every time just because of the thing. I don't even have a chance. To, okay, if you want Charles Manson to go to hell, boo. I lost. Yeah. I lost. Thank you, Tobias. Thank you. (laughs) Round of applause for Tobias. Thank you. Wow. I thought you took that. I thought you I had no chance. I had no chance because it's popular opinion. You're not trying to sway one person. Hmm. It's not just one person that you're trying to convince. Yeah. It's just everyone. And they already, I think, had the Well, I mean, think about it, dude. Not everyone likes One Direction, but everyone does poop. You know? You got to think outside the box. What a weird statement. <laughs> I'm going to get that tattooed. All right, give a round of applause for Josh and Dan, everyone. Come on up. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys for joining us. You're very welcome. welcome. Uh, genuinely, uh, we had no idea you were even in the country. That's true, yeah. Uh, I was coming down with you to do something, and then you said you were doing something with him. So I was like, yo, let's just all do something together. I guess I'll, I'll take this, this, this pause in, in a moment real quick. So to explain... One, uh, why we do these live shows. Uh, we, we did 33 nights in the USA, and when we had five or six nights left, we were like, okay, we have time, let's go to the UK. And the main reason why we even did this tour in the first place and why we decided to do this as a live show is we wanted to bring everyone together into one space that we feel like, obviously, I feel like all of you have a love, bond, respect for the paranormal world. And it's a really cool way to bring everyone together into one physical room where you guys can actually like make friends before the show, during the show, after the show. And that's why we wanted to do this as a live setting, because we could have done this from our office, from our house, but it wouldn't have felt the same. Mm -hmm. And part of the show, too, is we have everyone who has a ticket. We send you a link to submit a story, and then we have a bunch of stories here that we're going to be reading later. And then after we're done reading them, we can actually bring you up on stage and talk to you about it, as opposed to just like reading it at home and then that's the end. We can actually get to know you, and then part of that too is you can realize that the person who had this experience, who wrote this story, is a real person, just like you, from your community, from your country, from your area, and we hope that it'll make people feel a little less weird and feel like a little less reserved and as taboo of sharing paranormal experiences as it might feel now. So that's the main reason why we decided to do this as a live show, and that is the bulk of the show. There are all of these stories, Mm -hmm. and that's why we have our fellow ghost hunting friends here, even yes. though you did text me at 2.43 in the morning that said, please come you back. You have no idea how scary that place was. And I was begging and begging Josh. And he wasn't responding. So I was like, next best thing, Elton. Did he <laughs> respond? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> nope. You thought that the next best thing to ask for help was me? <laughs> well, I knew, yeah, I knew Corey true. would laugh. So I was like, Elton's a little bit more serious. Maybe he'll take me seriously. Nope. 
Look, if you yeah. didn't have a camera on, I probably would have been like, I'll help. But I knew there was two cameras on, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Just wait. You'll, you'll <laughs> see. Oh. You'll see why. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do story one? I'll do yeah, story two? I'll, I'll read the first story. Okay. All right. So we are going to... Oh, wait. Should we go into... Conf- no, we confessions. Ooh. Mm, uh, and then I teased this confession earlier. And then I have one. I don't. I have another. Yeah. I have okay. Another do you have one at all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. I just Ooh. feel like I feel like before we get into the ghost stories, we should. Okay. So <laughs> this is a. I forgot about this. This had to have happened when I was sixteen, maybe fifteen, maybe fourteen. I don't really remember. It's somewhere, maybe younger. Honestly, I don't genuinely remember. It had to have been fourteen. Had to have been fourteen. Yes. And I was at my friend's house. We we're, were playing video games, and uh, his, his grandpa was visiting. His grandpa was a little on that older side, started to make a couple mistakes here and there. And I knew they'd been talking about, like, should we take care of him? Is he okay on his own? Like, should we put him in a home? And <laughs> what did you do? I use, I use their restroom, and sometimes I like to sit down when I pee. You know, I just I like to do it. It's just more fun. I get that. And I, and, I, and I don't know what it was, but I guess their toilet seat didn't go, like, connected all the way down to the bowl. And I guess I didn't realize it, but I, like, kind of peed on the floor. At 14? Yeah. All right, all right. You ever sit down and you pee? Sometimes it, like, shoots forward, and you just, you know what I mean? Okay. This, this isn't going to be relatable to anyone except for us, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did piss on my foot the other day. Remember that? I oh, told yeah. you! <laughs> so what happened was, I get, and I didn't realize it, but somehow I, like, I peed through the gap between the toilet seat and the bowl and it was all over the floor and I had no idea and then the next person walked in there was the dad and just immediately assumed it was his father, the grandpa that had just peed all over the floor and then they went and they asked were like, obviously it's not the 14 year old that did it and they went to his dad and was like, hey, hey dad, did you do you remember peeing all over the bathroom floor? And he was like, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's okay. I guess you're at that point now where you don't remember these things. And I just sat in the back and watched, and I didn't say a f- word. And a week later, he ended up in an assisted living home. That's, That's horrendous. Sad. Yeah, there's no happy ending here, That's like, sad. at all. That's a real thing. For the rest of his life. I mean, he was already teetering at that line. Was he peeing on the floor? <laughs> it wasn't at that part yet. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a real thing. I wish there was a funny ending there, but it's not. It's just something I... It literally was a deep, deep dark, suppressed memory I had until like three days ago. That's pretty intense. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the happy ending. <laughs> no, nope, yeah. no happy ending. It wasn't like you went there and you broke him out and you guys moved in together. No, I literally never <laughs> saw him again. Badass. I genuinely never saw him again. <laughs> That was the last time I ever saw him was his son being like, dad, you don't remember peeing on the floor? And he'd be like, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Josh. Oh boy. I'm just picturing like stepping on your piss as well. What is it with you and pee on yourself, Josh? <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just thinking like, oh man, he's stepping on it. And it's just awkward. I don't know. It's just grossing me out. more. Yeah. All right. What was, what was your confession? All right. Yeah. So I was like, actually, I think I was... I might have been 16, so only two more years off from you, but we were, uh, will you guys say skipping school or bunking school or anything? You guys say that? Skipping? Skiving? Yeah. Skiving? Yeah, skiving. What's that? Oh, so you're just, oh, just skiving class today? So I was just skiving class today, <laughs> and um, it was about like 11 a.m., and I was at my friend's house, and we were playing games instead, and his mom usually, like, usually goes to work. It's, almost, it's like a Morrison's, but it's not a Morrison's, and so she's over there, but then she came home early, and we didn't know, so the first thing I thought of was, okay, I'm just going to go hide into the bathroom. So I go into the bathroom because like, he's going to get in trouble by his mom, but at least I'm not going to get in trouble and be there because that's awkward. So I'm in the bathroom, and then I put myself behind the, the bathroom curtains, and so her mom has to use the bathroom. So she walks in the door, but before she walked in to use the bathroom, I hear my friend saying, why do you have to use the bathroom? I have to go and I got to do my hair. Or something. Like, you know, anything to stall her to think of the next plan. But even if we went into the bathroom, there was no other way for me to get out anyways. So she goes into the bathroom and then she takes a <laughs> Now, mind you, I'm only a centimeter away from her behind just a curtain bathroom. So I'm hearing her 
I'm hearing my friend's mom and she doesn't know I'm right on the side of her. And then she started levitating. <laughs> Yo. And then she Yo. saw me over the curtain. Pretty, oh, dude, no. It was, I swear, I heard my heartbeat. It was as if, like, a killer Michael Mars is trying to chase me. I was sweating. I was just like, mm-hmm. and, and it was the longest four whatever minutes of my life in there. Solid six feet in the air. Yep. <laughs> she ended up leaving and going to work, and she never caught me. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Were you at one point just thinking of scaring her? Just, ha! Ah. No. <laughs> but, you know, that's so awkward. It's so awkward, dude. I made sure never to get caught because I felt like I would have been, like, we would have had an awkward relationship after that forever. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want that to happen. So I never told her and never happened and just moved on. Are you still friends with this kid? Um, I haven't seen him in a while. It was oh. years and years ago. But what do you think the odds of his mom seeing this are? Dude, I think she would even know. You want to give her a shout out? No, no. <laughs> That's going to my grave, dude. What is? No, it's not. It's going on the podcast. True, but I just feel like the odds of her seeing it is still pretty slim. We'll make sure. True, maybe. <laughs> We target ads only in our neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Where did Josh grow yeah, up? Yeah. Where was he at 16 and just keep Oh, hanging? my God. Yeah, what's yours? Huh, Dan? Dan? First of all, I want to say I'm sorry. Okay. No. I'm sorry, oh, no. Josh. No. This is something I never wanted to tell anyone. Oh, wait. I'm and excited. it's super, super embarrassing. Dude, okay? no. All right. Right. Throw yourselves back to 2019, right? We were in the Maginot Line underneath France. Right, we're exploring down there. We got lost, so it's like a bunch of tunnels, and you can get lost. And it's like near death experience. We're walking down the corridors. We've been down there for seven hours. Yeah, and I had a sandwich which didn't quite agree with me. Okay, <laughs> I took a, a little side side room and uh, took a. <laughs> sh- Why right? do all of our stories involve the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> all three of our stories. <laughs> Wait, even mine earlier, I pooped on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> All of them? Carry on. Um, so, yeah, I did, I did the deed, and um, yeah. I went on my business filming my video until I heard, uh, who the f*** did this? <laughs> and I, I look behind me, and I see Josh coming out the room, wiping his shoe. <laughs> no! No way! <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. And again, what is Josh getting fecal matter all over himself? I don't even remember that. That can't be a real story. I promise you, right? And I turned around and I blamed (laughs) it on Carl. I said, I said it was the other guy. I said, oh, he came out of that room before with his his toilet wipes. I don't. I don't remember that, bro. It was. I remember clear as day. I don't remember. Haunted me for the rest of my life. It will do. Uh, Do you forgive me? Yeah. Well, what shoes? I must have been wearing those old boots just to explore. It was the old boots, and that's why I didn't let you keep them in the car. <laughs> Do you remember when you was looking for them? I don't. And remember. you was like, "I'm sure I put them in the bottom of the car," and and they weren't because I threw them. Because <laughs> I don't remember. But what the? <laughs> I, can, I can even show you the, in the video which room it was. You will remember. <laughs> oh my god! So what? Did he just think he stepped in like animal poop or something? Oh no, because it was. It was relatively fresh. And there was, I mean, you know, I'm not an animal. I covered it up with baby wipes, okay? And um, yeah, it was very fresh. And, relatively uh, fresh. Yeah. Was this after Paris Catacombs or before? No, this was 2019. Okay. This was, this was way I remember we did. being down there, but what boots were I wearing? Do you remember? Yeah, it was the cheap ones that you bought from Sports Direct. <laughs> Look, the yeah. more detail he's giving, the yeah. more and more Dude, I believe, I believe this story. It now, yeah. Yeah. now I'm just like, damn. I've always wanted to tell you, but. You told me now in yeah. front of everyone? <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> I feel embarrassed it, for stepping in your shit. It sh- felt like the right time. <laughs> Damn. All right. Okay. Dude, that is so funny. <laughs> I'm dying right now. So, so would you throw them? The boots then? In the bin? Because I remember looking for them. That's yeah, the I know. thing I do remember. Yeah, I put them in the bin straight away. Wait, would you say I lost them? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get into the stories then? Yes. Why were all the confessions about the bathroom? You and I literally, did the, we both blamed other people for things we did. Except mine was a lot more damaging to a family. Yeah. All right, you want to read the first story? Hmm. Yes, I will. All right, that's yours. 
<clears throat> All right, you guys ready for some ghost stories? Uh oh. Ooh. Should you read it in your British proper voice? <gasps> Okay, wait, wait. Seriously, should I read it in my accent or no? Okay. (laughs) All right, y'all ready for this? Okay. I lived in a very old house with me one-year-old at the time. Me and me friends. Can I say me friends instead of my? Do you guys do that instead of my? Do you ever say me? Is that common? Yeah. Yeah? Me friends. Me and me friends used to see the door handle in my living room open itself very often to the point where we got used to it. Also, me daughter's toys would often start playing on their own, especially this one chair that played music when it was sat on. Through the night, it would play music like someone was sitting in it. <laughs> Me daughter's bedroom had a particularly uncomfortable feeling. No one ever liked to walk past it. It was always very cold and just bad vibes to the point where I would sleep downstairs <laughs> wait but would still have my daughter sleeping upstairs <laughs> bad mom vibes ha ha <laughs> oh my god it literally says bad mom vibes ha ha in parentheses <laughs> so you wait, were did- too scared to go up there but your daughter slept in there is that someone that wrote that from here? Yes. yes. Yeah, where, where is she? And now we get to bring them up on the yeah. air okay. and talk to them about it. <laughs> the one night that always sticks out to me is when me and my friends were downstairs watching a movie and we heard loads of banging from upstairs and me daughter started to cry. <laughs> The wardrobe doors were swinging like they had been thrown open. Bearing in mind, me daughter was in a cot and had no way of doing this herself. She was so distressed like she had seen something. Generally, I would wake up thinking I heard whispers as well. Okay, yeah, I need That's you to come up scary. here. That's kind of scary. I got to talk to you about this. Naomi? Naomi, could you come up here? And you're going to come right over here, too, in the jury stand. I'll pass Get, over my give mic. Give it up for Naomi, y'all. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hashtag bad mom vibes. Okay. So this is the daughter that you saw right in my video earlier as well. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so how, how old was she at the time during this? She was one. One. And now she's 12. And you were you were okay with, like, her being in the... Haunted room, but you know. I just thought she was a bit of a brat, but now looking back. (laughs) Wait, so was that kind of like a timeout thing? Like, oh, it was just bedtime, but I was like, why doesn't she like going to bed? But (laughs) but you didn't like going up there. Oh, I slept downstairs. No, because you knew it was haunted. It was horrible. Yeah. (laughs) Did you ever think that like the ghosts or spirits would mess with her? You were just like, it's not me. Yeah. She's like, she's really into you guys now, so it's like a good thing. Can I can I just point out that I wasn't going to say this, but after seeing your reaction of just, hmm. uh, the note on the top of our story says, bad mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that was the note we wrote to remember what this story was. And you're just like, ah, possession. Ah. Bill's character. <laughs> so what, you've seen objects move then? It was small. She had this little chair. You didn't explain it very well with your accent, but... <laughs> I thought I did a great job. There was this little chair that if she sat on it, it would sing songs, and it would just sing on its own. Um, nothing moved, but it was all, like, sounds. That's still creepy. Yeah. Yeah, we moved quite quickly. <laughs> I would have, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I just... You knew it was haunted up there. Oh, totally, yeah. Why didn't you, like move her downstairs you know what i mean or were you just like she'll get like over 17, it i was like 17 so <laughs> you were just like she'll get over it teen mom <laughs> <laughs> bad mom <vibes. laughs> 
What a, what a crossover show that would be between Ghost Adventures and Teen Mom. Just I combined. I watched that. That's epic. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that matchup would be incredible on we MTV. We should make a show like that. Teen, teen Mom? Mm-hmm. Teen Ghost Adventures? Yeah, we'll produce it and stuff, though. I mean, that's it. Ghost Moms. Yeah, Ghost yeah. Moms. Ghost Moms. Ghost Moms. Ghost Moms. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm She's trying to get right the... She's fine right now. She's fine. Like, it's you. <laughs> What's up, Layla? Like, <laughs> she's got a strong character now because of it. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you were too scared to go up there. Oh yeah. But your do- your one year old still slept up there. She's got to <laughs> steal. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have a choice. She was one. <laughs> she couldn't walk yet. So. <laughs> Sounds like a hair problem. <laughs> this is so funny. I like that though. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> oh my god! Did anything else happen in the house? Um, it was just yeah, doll handles and things like that. But was it only her room? No, that was all over the house. Okay, but okay. But toys and stuff would go off in her room. Bad vibes, yeah. <laughs> Bad vibes. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you ever figure out why the house? Like why it was happening? Do you ever? When I did some googling afterwards, there was loads of stuff about people having their throats slashed and things down the alleyway next what? to it. So like back in the day. Some casual googling, and you found out loads <laughs> of people got their throats slashed. It was, yeah, it was it was whole. So. Oh. It was what? Oh, you were whole. It's like the worst place in England. <laughs> I thought Grimsby was. Oh. It's, it's near Grimsby. Hull, Shots yeah. fired. Hey! <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> I like Grimsby. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I'm, I just can't get over it. I just think that that's so funny that you were just like, yo, it is haunted up there. <laughs> that place. But hey, Layla, go to bed. <laughs> get up there and go night night. I don't care about the man in the corner. Get over it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you have like a, a nanny cam, like a baby monitor? No. Oh, that would have been incredible. It would have. The footage of just I your one year old daughter just. Because <laughs> 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 when that paranormal activity came out, it's really triggered. She's just up there screaming and She's crying. Having a shit. You're hearing all these thoughts. There's sh- all over the walls. <laughs> Get over it. It's a ghost, Layla. <laughs> You got balls of steel, baby. <laughs> Put up with it. You're trying to breastfeed the kid, just like, come on, you little <laughs> sh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> 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 oh, okay, I gotta calm down. Okay, I think I think that was all my questions. <laughs> oh my I'm not going to hell. <laughs> Wait, do, do, you have an, do you have more kids, or is that the only one? I've got two more now. Three. Oh, <laughs> were they also? Uh, levitated by demons in their cribs. Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you don't have baby monitors. I just don't like to look. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear... <laughs> you're like, shut up, Timmy! <laughs> <laughs> dude, imagine that YouTube channel. I know. Wow. that Dude, that would be like one of the world's most famous YouTubers, like a one-year-old, like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tonight, I'm in timeout, <laughs> and this demon's going to f*** with me. <laughs> oh. Was there any memory of Layla, like as she got older? Did she remember any of these things? No, but she's really tuned in. She's really tuned in? Got it. Did she yeah. ever get, like, angry? Like, still, you no. mean a little bit of, of what happened to her is still... In her? Oh, when I talk about it, no, she's she's cool with it. She's cool <laughs> with it. I really just want to see the, the the baby monitor footage of this just like six foot seven shadow man sitting in this little one year old's chair. Just I like the song; it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round. The heads on Layla spin round and round. <laughs> Would you ever like? You know, just walk by the door while she was in well, there. Well, no, if I could help it. Because we didn't even, like, walk in past it. 
So it would just be like, put her to bed. And like then that's- her room was there. My room was there. And I just did not sleep in my room because I didn't want to walk past I it. just feel like you put your kid down and just run out the room, yeah. slam it, and just yeah, walk back kid. until sunrise. A lot of crying. Yeah. I just imagine you feeding your kid like they do in, in like a, a solitary confinement, just sliding the tray into the room. Like, he has your supper. <laughs> <laughs> just sliding it underneath the door. <laughs> Dude, I'm picturing, like, you know, like when we were little kids and like we had to go turn like a light off in the hallway, then it's pitch dark. That was you putting her to bed. You're like this. Hold this real quick. You're like. <laughs> but she's like, she's quite brave now. So I wonder why. <laughs> Your daughter developed balls of steel. <laughs> I do like the irony of Layla, and her name is very close to Ley Lines. And then we've got Elton the cat, so... That's, oh, that's right. You have a cat <laughs> named Elton. And we got Colby, so it's a bit awkward. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they don't play together anymore, do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> All right, you have to give one parenting tip <laughs> to another mother who has an infant being tormented by demons, what is your advice to this very small market of people? If you close the door and look the other direction, you won't know what's happening because they can't tell you. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> like that. uh, that's a closing statement. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that. A round of applause, everyone. <laughs> that was good. If you just lock them in there and close the door, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, just what, love what that that, I love that that means that she has to lock the door, walk away, and then do this. La, 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 la. <laughs> Dude, that, that was gold. That was good. Oh, my God. That's funny. Okay, so Corey and I talked about this earlier. We have a tradition in our shows that whenever we have a new guest, we have to ask them to act out one of the stories. We feel like it brings more life to it. I didn't know this. And uh, we've had Evan do it, Corbin's done it, Matt's done it, all of our guests have done it. It's like a tradition. So, so one of the stories? Yeah. And I think this next one is like one of the best stories to act out. All the others are very paranormal, so it's going to be a little bit harder, but this one's got like a lot of description in it. Okay. So right. we want you guys to act out the story, and you have to bring it to life. All right. You have to make this can, person, whoever this. wrote the story, feel so. like they relived this moment and do it justice. Okay. Is okay. it as you read it or so like, like as, now? So like as I read this story, you have to bring it to life. And there's a perfect little pocket for you right there to do that. A little side You think side there's enough stage. room though? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to go crazy? <laughs> All right. Let's do it. I don't know. You let's think see. the ghosts here would like that we're doing that in the courtroom? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That was easy. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm down. All right, All right you guys going to act ready. Down? Yeah, okay. All right, second story. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is apparently a last-minute story, and it says, this is a story I've always been terrified to share. So that means I should get scared. You have to be terrified, yep. Yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thought of it just makes me shudder. It makes me shudder like the whistling wind on a Tuesday night I can't <laughs> while I'm watching my favorite rom-com while reenacting each scene with my best friend watching it with me. Strangely, that's exactly who this story is about. My best friend. Well, ex-best friend. <gasps> we went from cuddle buddies to enemies. I literally remember being the little spoon one night. <laughs> I, I literally remember being the little spoon one night and then slapping her the next night. <laughs> But again, that doesn't matter yet. It will, though. So, we were watching The Ring. You know, the movie where everyone dies after seven days. 
But this didn't look like the actual movie. I had seen it before. The girl bends backwards and crawls. Wait, that's me if I'm crawling. Bend over the handrail, what the <laughs> You can just bend backwards over the handrail, Jesus. dude. Jesus! <laughs> I'm crawling! <laughs> the girl... The girl bends backwards and crawls. <laughs> she screams. She squ she squeals. <laughs> but in this version, she started like pop locking, like the dance move. <laughs> really strange because she was also so good. And again, when we watch movies, we have to reenact it. So we both start pop locking. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Go, go. And then bending backwards. <laughs> oh! Dan! Dan! Joe! That's why not anymore. You know what's so funny about that? The next line says, I remember my bestie pulled something while doing it. <laughs> she started crying, and I had to comfort her. She's an ugly crier. <laughs> a loud one, too. <laughs> really loud. <laughs> we turned off the ring, but she kept crying. <laughs> this, this time, she wasn't in pain. She was crying as if she was possessed. And, <laughs> and sad that she was about to do something terrible. I could see it in her eyes. I just knew. Then it happened. She tried to bite me. No! I didn't know what to do. I pushed her off me, and then we both nearly fell down the stairs. <laughs> I ended up stepping on the remote, and it switched the channel the notebook came on. <gasps> but again, whatever we watch, we have to reenact. And even with her possessed eyes, we do it. I stepped on the remote again, and Bring It On came on. <laughs> it was that scene where they lift each other up and throw each other into the air. She f grabbed me and tossed me up Making me do a 360. I was honestly impressed and terrified. That was good, but scary. She wasn't strong. Honestly, I always thought she was a bit hefty. <laughs> and as her friend, I felt I should say something for health reasons. <laughs> Bro. What? Lay off the donuts, dude. I was confused at this point, but didn't know what else to do. I turned on the next channel, and it was Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> then this girl started T-Rex romping all around the room. <laughs> Screaming and roaring. <laughs> then she went all throughout the house. <laughs> she started jumping on the benches and chairs. Yeah, yeah, you see that? <laughs> she was fake attacking and roaring at everything. Honestly, this can't be a real ghost story. There's no way so wrote this. Someone story. submitted this. Someone submitted the story. Honestly, I didn't know what to do, but I let it keep happening. She kept doing it. She kept roaring and attacking. Oh. Oh. Then <laughs> she became a pterodactyl, <laughs> flapping around. It was weird. <laughs> It was like our friendship was stronger than the possession. Then it hit me. It was last October this happened. 
I knew horror movies were on. I turned it on to The Exorcism. And lo and behold, she started convulsing and almost vomiting. <laughs> then crying. She, she realized what had happened. She knew she did something wrong, but it also wasn't her. She apologized and she reached in for a hug. And we hugged for a solid moment. Aww. She lifted me into the air. <laughs> she said she loved me. I love you. Yeah. Then she let go. I stepped back and I wound up with everything that I have and slapped her. <laughs> you ever seen this? <laughs> and I shouted, don't ever do that to me again. We both Never laughed. Again. We both laughed and turned the notebook back on. That's it. It was weird, but I'm never stealing horror movies off the internet again. That is not real. Come on, who wrote that? I did. Oh, you <laughs> you f Bruh, I ain't going to the gym tomorrow, I can tell you that. You guys caught on pretty early, but I also made it really obvious. <laughs> Sweating like a pig now. <laughs> I didn't realize I could lift, Josh. <laughs> all right, these are all real stories now. You can actually check. They're all real people. We're not messing around anymore. <laughs> we just wanted to have a little fun, you know? <laughs> oh Dude, you're really sweating. Uh, I'm sweating like He hell. picked Bro, me you up. you had him going in. All right, second story. All right, properly read it. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. The story is titled Haunted Toilet. <laughs> 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 that's the note we wrote on it. It literally says haunted toilet. I think that's the theme of I tonight's remember, show. I remember what this one is. Okay. The story starts as, just over a year ago, I was having a catch up and a few drinks with a friend at a local pub, the Mason's Arms, in the market where I live. The pub itself is an old building and quite small with a few locals there having a drink. We were going to move on to somewhere else and decided to go to the toilet first. The doors are heavy and make a loud noise so we would have heard anyone if they came in. There was only two cubicles in the toilet as well. So when I entered, I sat there, doing what you do when on the toilet. When the cubicle door started shaking, I was silently freaking out and let my friend know what was happening. She was in the other cubicle stall. We thought maybe it was the wind, but it was weird the way it rattled like that. And the only windows were closed when we checked afterwards. No one had come in either, so it was just us two. When I went to exit the cubicle, there seemed to be a pressure, as though something was stopping it from opening. Again, this was weird because it didn't seem like this pressure was coming from the other side of the door, but at the side, I was opening it from. When we finally exited the cubicle, the light in the bathroom had gone out. In the end, we quickly washed our hands, checked the windows, and bucked it out of there. When I told my dad what happened, he mentioned it to a mate of his at work who knows people who work there and he said that it is haunted as he has had an experience himself there and a few employees have actually quit because of experiences that have happened to them as well. It was surprising because when I looked online or anywhere else, there's no mention of this place being haunted, so it seems to be kept on the down low. I'm wanting to convince my friend to go there again for a night out and perhaps sneak an EMF device in and see if anything happens. Mm. So this is genuinely a story about a haunted restroom. And this is uh, from Abby. Abby, would you, are you, you are here, I believe. Would you mind joining us all the way up here? Now, why didn't we get that one to reignite? You wanted that one yeah, to reignite? Yeah, I would have had that one. <laughs> By the way, I got to say, this is my worst fear of like something paranormal happening while in the restroom. I agree. Yeah. It is the worst possible because you can't yep. run. You're locked. You're exposed. You don't know what you're in the middle of. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a terrifying thing. All right. Talk to us about this haunted restroom. It was weird because we'd been there before and nothing had happened. I usually go there because it's got good whiskeys. And um, it was weird. It was like, I think it was the easing of the lockdown. We just wanted to catch up, have a few drinks, and then... Everything went off in the toilet. Um, I was just sat there, and it just actually just started rattling. 
and my friend was at the other side. I said, dude, my door is rattling right now. And she says, what? I'm like, yeah, it's rattling. And I'm like, no one's coming out there. I said, no, I would have heard it. And then she tried to be funny and throw a toilet roll over the side <laughs> of the squid. Ooh, I went, no, please don't. <laughs> and then I say, I tried to open the door and it was just so weird because as I was trying to open it, it was like there was pressure going against it, against me. And that just even freaked me out, freaked me out even more. And yeah, we just rushed out of there. And when the, when the door first started shaking, did it scare the <laughs> out of you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nice. I'd already done that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So there was no more to come out. <laughs> now, do you know if the other people that quit was all because they also had restroom experiences? Um, I'm not sure if it was the restroom. I've heard like the bottles because it was like alcohol bottles, stuff went on there. Um, there's like a living room part at the top of the actual um, pub. And I think what my dad said, his friend said, is that the owners left some people there to look after the place when they went away. And um, they couldn't even stay the whole week there. They just left because of what they experienced. I'm not sure what they experienced, but apparently it was just enough to freak them out that they just wouldn't stay there. Mm. Dang, yeah, I, I, I was wondering if it was like the building or if it was just the restroom. Because we've been to places where the restrooms are like converted over, but they yeah. were once dungeons or they were once used for other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a building. I mean, it's an old building. The only thing I could find, I was like, it was built in the 1700s. Um, so it is like an old market building. It's been there a while. But yeah, I can't find anything to say that there's been any ghost hunting online. So I just think it's been on the down low because it's like really for locals. But yeah, it's very weird. How intense was it shaking? Like, was it like boom, boom, boom? Or was no. it just like vibrating? Dude, I literally thought you were going to say, how intense were you I like, I really, I genuinely was like, you're going to ask that. Can you be mature? I can't. Carry on. No, it was just, it wasn't boom, boom, boom or anything like that. It was just basically literal shaking. Mm -hmm. But my friend didn't experience it on the other side, on her cubicle. And there were joined cubicles. So it was weird that it was just happening on my side. Do you think it was just a ghost that really had to go? And he was like, come on, <laughs> let me in. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I've spoke to other people about my experience there and they was like, um, they, they've had something happen in the toilet. So it seems all down to the toilets, I think, when it comes to haunted and ghosts, to be honest. Yo, that's a great question. What? Do ghosts go the restroom? <laughs> Actually, I've never thought about that. Think about that. Spectral sh <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Because what other reason would that Wait, ghost just be like, all this time, we thought the smell of rotten eggs was demons. <laughs> and it's just been ghosts <laughs> the whole time. Farting. <laughs> just just a little ghost fart. Letting loose. I was just thinking, like, if you're in there and you were taking a sh and the lights went off, that's, like, the worst fear for me. More than anything else that could happen in the bathroom. You're in there, you're sh the light turns off. Because it's it? motion censored, and you've been in there for too long, so it goes dark. <laughs> yeah. And then you're what just on the do? toilet, and you're like, <laughs> what if I wasn't done yet? And now, I, it just, yeah, it sounds like a nightmare. You just, like, waddle yeah. over around the little stall. You're like, what the f Come on, yeah. turn back yeah. on. You never had to do that? Like, take off your jacket and, like, kind of, like, flick it over the stall door to get it to register on the light? <laughs> You've done that? Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. No, That's I've never idea done that. That is. I think that was the weird part, actually, because the actual stalls had, like, their own lights at the top, but as soon as you walked out, it was just, it'd gone dark. So it, we didn't even realise it'd gone dark until we walked out our cubicles. So that kind of just added even more to the spookiness of it all. And this mm. is why ladies always go to the restroom together. They're just afraid of a demon just, ah, <laughs> <laughs> on the stall door. Yeah. Okay. So what area was this in? Um, local, it's Doncaster. Doncaster. Yeah. All right, okay. That means nothing to me. I have never been to Doncaster, funny enough. I've been to every square inch of the UK apart from Doncaster. Well, then you haven't been to every square inch. No, definitely not. True. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Round of applause, everyone. You. you want three or four? Oh, that's three over there. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, I feel like this is going to be good. I feel like you have a really good storytelling voice. And you have kids. 
Yeah, so I feel like I, you can you can tell a really good story. You know, I don't really read much, so I'm going to stumble a lot, but I'm going to try and add a Simon Entwistle twist. Mm. You remember Simon? Oh. Yes, I. Oh, you could forget Simon Entwistle. That's true. <laughs> Please follow me. I have a few stories, but I will just focus on one from where I live now. I'm lucky enough to live in a beautiful part of the world called Staffordshire. Uh, the moorlands, and I why live... Was that so Wait, why is everyone laughing? Is everyone like, that's not beautiful at all? Oh, shots fired again. I don't know, I'm just wondering why they're laughing at it. Um, I live in an old lunatic, and a word from the time, asylum. Our house is built on old wards that were part of the hospital before it closed and was sold to the developers for new-built houses. Refurbishment and wards of the hospital buildings where we first moved with my children. I am f***ing this up. You're good. Uh, no one knows what's on the page besides you, so they don't know if you're messing up. Yeah, well, the person is. Uh, <laughs> the ward where babies were were always strong smells of cigarettes. And in the downstairs bathroom, initially I thought this was the builders outside as the houses on my street were built in the development. However, even after my road was finished and the builders had left, the cigarette smell lingered in the living room <coughs> and the bathroom to the point I had to stay out, say out loud, can you smoke outside? My, but my babies cannot breathe on your smoke. We are always losing things like tweezers and small brushes and finding them in very odd places. Even after the forest search, I've seen a woman in my kitchen with gray hair and a floral dress on. When I go upstairs, I always feel that someone is peeping around the doors, then hiding. One item that went, went missing a lot when we first moved in was my washing machine. How does a washing machine go missing? <laughs> what? That's a big is, that a is that a typo? What? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's a typo. Yeah, I, I, no, that's relatable. Well, I remember playing the Ouija yeah, board and yeah. my fridge disappeared. It just ends up in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> it would just choose programs halfway through its cycle. Oh, yeah, so we definitely typo, typo. And not work at all. We ended up saying it was the ghost called Jean and she loved laundry. There's no, no malice or ill feelings with our laundry hide and seek spirit through and I'll never forget the dream I had when I kindly someone has made a up of this it's is on purpose is there a typo no this Dude, is like I want to let you know that we don't touch the stories at all oh, so okay, okay. this is going to be awkward when I, we bring them on stage I, I had when I kindly woman sat with me and told me that she didn't mind the name Jean but her name was Emily the woman in my dream was the same woman I saw in my kitchen. Make what you want. Right there. Oh, Caroline. Where's Caroline? Caroline? Who, who really rushed this out. Come on up here, Caroline. Let's see this. Give it up for Caroline, y'all. Let's go! And the missing washing machine. Caroline! It used to just switch, and we got through about three, not long after we moved in, and we always said it was a ghost called Jean, who liked doing laundry. How did you get the name, though? Or was that just what your nickname, what you wanted we to call it? We just nicknamed to Jean. Right. And she's still Jean. She just lives in our house now. Is it, so she's, like, really friendly, you'd say? Yeah, we don't have any feel, ill feelings of any... You know, there's no malice, like I said, but she did tell me her name was Emily. Make of that what you will, whether it was just I dreamt of somebody or... But I did see her in my kitchen. She was just standing in my kitchen. And it was kind of like, oh, there's a lady in my kitchen. That must be Jean. And, and you, you live, this house is a old lunatic asylum. Yeah, it did is. Did you know that prior to moving? Yes. Okay. Yes, we did. The, where we live, it was a big, big sprawling hospital. Um, I think it was built in the 1800s. Still operational, I think, till the early 1990s. And they knocked down wards, which is where we live. We live in a house that was built on top of wards. But there are old wards opposite my house that you can still see. That are, They've been made into houses now, but they are old wards. I feel like living here 
is so much more likely to have a haunted home than for us in the States. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because, like, your houses are hundreds of years yep. old. Completely agree. Like, we, my house is literally was built five years ago at the same time Taco Bell was. Yeah. It's just so much more likely here. My house is only 15 years old. It's a new build house. But, but it's on, built on, the, on, on, on an old on. property, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. like, what was it like seeing the, the girl for the first time, like the ghost? I didn't mind. Um, my son's had a few. He's here tonight. He's had a few bits, and he yeah. always says his, his bedroom's haunted, and little bits have fallen off the walls, some figurines have fallen off, and we can't figure out how that's happened. Little things go missing. Inconvenient things go missing, and then you find them somewhere else. Oh, could be us mislaying them. Could be paranormal. Hmm. So when, when you first saw her, was it in your dream or was it in No, it was in life? my kitchen. Wow. She stood in my kitchen. Wow. How long did you see her for? Mm, two, three seconds. No way. Kind of turn around. She was stood there. And you know when you think, oh, there's just a person in my house. Mm-hmm. And then you walk away and then it's only after you think, oh, Oh my God, there was a woman in my kitchen. Wow. But we do get, I get the feeling that when you go upstairs, that along the corridor, there's two bedrooms at the end, that somebody's just kind of oop, peeping around and just, you've just missed them. And you do get the feeling that perhaps somebody's just watching you go down the stairs. So you see like the shadow in the corner of your eye? Yeah, just that little glimpse. And you, oh, who's that? Who's yeah. that? Mm-hmm. But I don't tend to go and look. Was it like a completely <laughs> normal looking person? Like she wasn't see-through? Like it just looked like a... Just a person, yeah. Just, wow. just a lady just standing there. Wow. And, yeah. it, and it doesn't feel threatening at all? No, doesn't feel evil? No. It's friendly? I must admit, I don't watch sort of the ghost hunting things when I'm on my own in the house, just in case I spark, mm-hmm. you know. I don't want to do any kind of investigation there because of where it is. And I'm quite happy with her because she's calm, but I imagine there's quite a few spirits because it used to be an asylum that yeah. aren't happy. Yeah. So I don't want to disturb them. Did you uh, ever replace your washing machine thinking it was broken? Yeah, I've had three. All right, since okay. I moved in. Oh, <laughs> three. And yeah, how yeah. long? How long until you realised that it was this gene playing with them? It died down. The washing machine issue stopped. Um, we still get the cigarette smoke. I can still smell it in the house. And if you sat watching TV, you'll get like a big puff of it next to you. Wow. Now, now that you know, she seems to enjoy laundry. <laughs> Do you, ever just, really, do you ever just leave it out and be like, hey, I try. Do you mind yeah, doing just it for the me? pile of ironing. Can you do that for me, Jean? I do sometimes <laughs> ask, but it's she doesn't do it. Have you ever like made an offering? Like, left hey, out? To pay her? No, like a oh. cigarette or you know. No, what I, mean? I should. I should, yeah. <laughs> did you did you name her Jean yeah. because she messes with the laundry? Because she messes with the jeans. Yeah. Okay, oh. that's funny. <laughs> so you're punny. That's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We just like the name. Yeah. Are you afraid that something more would happen if you allowed it to? Yeah, I don't want to. I even I don't even want to do any sort of call outs just in case, because I know we're on wards, and I know the the treatment wasn't. Um, we would look at it as perhaps cruel, but at the time the doctors and nurses were doing the up to date treatment. And I don't want, I don't want anything else to come into the house hmm. and start doing anything. Yeah. Mean. Yeah, that makes sense. What what asylum was it? What what was what, it? What asylum was it? Oh, it's called. Um, I did put on the email and sent some photos. It's called Chaddleton, Chaddleton. Asylum. So if you want no. to mm. to go, I think. I met, I used to work with a ghost hunter and he said he'd done a YouTube video of it, but I can't remember what his channel was, I'm afraid. Prior to you living there? No, we've moved, we lived there as soon as the house was built. So we're the only people to ever live in our house. Got it. Um, And I think he did it when it shut, because I don't think they would have allowed people on the grounds. He probably wouldn't have been born when it shut. It was in the 90s, so. Right. when it was closed, 
before the houses were built. Wow. But we can see like the morgue from our back windows <laughs> and there's a big church on there which is supposedly haunted as well. Wow. That's so wild. Wow. The, the morgue is still intact? Yes, yeah. Really? Yeah. Exactly where we were last night. Last night we were in a morgue and they're going to convert it over to a flat. Yep. And then the hospital is going to be, they're trying to turn it into a hotel. But like just a normal hotel, not a haunted hotel. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's just there. When when we moved in, we could walk around. It's been bought by somebody now, so you can't walk around the morgue. But you could see the slab still in there. That's cool. Wow. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Last wow. One. Last one. Would you all live in a morgue? No. Yeah. Could you do it? Why? Why would I? Why? Why? If What's the pro? To. What's the benefit? What am I getting if I if I move into this you morgue? You needed a place to move into. Twenty four seven ghosts. No. 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 Twenty four seven live live stream. No. <laughs> I guess nothing then. I'm good, yeah. No, no, no. Let's just say, like, you, you know, you don't do YouTube. You're not a ghost hunter at all. Like, you've never even really thought about ghosts. You know, like, you watch scary movies. That's about it. But you need somewhere to move. You Maybe see they're this, discounted homes. Exactly. So then you just Let's move Let's say the rent is super cheap. I'd do it for that point. Would you I don't want to. I, yeah, I don't want to live in a place that's, like, always going to, like, I'm going to think about it. You know what I mean? So she at night, what if it was just, like, a mouse, but I'm thinking the worst, like a demon yeah. I don't want to be in there. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it. Because imagine, like, if I opened my fridge and there was a body in there. <laughs> Very All right. True. Any final words of wisdom before we head out of here? <laughs> no, we're good to go. Stay in school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't end up like us. Stay don't do drugs. School. All right, cool. Well, sincerely, thank you all for being here tonight and spending your evening with us and your time with us. I hope you had a, I hope you had a good time. Yeah.